Well, equity has become uh, central to our work uh, in the last several years. And I'll be honest, it was not uh, uh, very prominent in our thinking uh, early in our early years. Um, and for many years, we operated on the idea that uh, I'm going to get the saying wrong, but that uh, raising ships up, everybody wins, uh, and that that was an adequate response to inequity. And about five years ago, we started to really question that. Um, we looked at the data, we looked at where uh, we had very successful schools, and if there were patterns where schools had less success in implementing the model, and that drove us to really reframe um, our work to be intentionally aimed at closing opportunity gaps. And so there are two specific areas for us that we see the school model as being um, perfectly positioned in schools, and that's addressing cultural gaps and instructional gaps. So as we think about naming two specific opportunity gaps uh, that we think uh, our school model is well positioned to address, uh, culture meaning that students should experience a safe, inclusive, welcoming, and engaging school every day. Uh, and we know for too many students that's not their reality. And uh, in closing the instructional gaps, uh, opportunity gaps, there for us, uh, we think it's really important that the learner experience on a daily basis uh, being challenged uh, in meaningful and authentic ways to solve very complex and complicated um, problems and challenges. So equity for us uh, means that a child's zip code isn't going to dictate the quality of their learning and the quality of their opportunity. And we talk about that all the time and, and we do that because we want people to believe it and to really put it into practice. So equity for us in terms of new tech is the very reason that when we open new tech, we open them in pairs. And we were very adamant about that. When I'd visited uh, magnet schools that were successful across the country, I noticed that many times there was one singular school in one part of town and the learning didn't spread. It, it seemed like those isolated opportunities were looked at as if something that couldn't be replicated. And I didn't want that. I wanted to make sure that we could replicate the work. So for us, we made sure that two things that in order to apply for one of our district new tech network schools, you didn't have to have uh, an application or an entry test. It was first come, first serve. You know, kids with discipline problems, kids with attendance problems, you know, sped kids, anyone could apply for it, English language learners. And we also wanted to make sure that it didn't matter what side of town you were on, that it, all across the city, we're gonna expose children to this type of learning. And we think that's the core of the equity conversation for us with the New Tech Network.